Hello and welcome to the week ahead video with me David Madden. Now before we take a look at the major events of next week, let's take a moment to recap the major events of the week just gone. So looking here at the DE30, uh, we can see that the market has been in a downward trend recently. Yesterday the DE30 fell to its lowest level in three months due to concerns that the German economy might be heading towards a recession in light of the, of the very disappointing manufacturing and service data posted out of, the, of Germany yesterday. That also ties in with the wider, wider theme that there's been, there's, there are concerns that the global economy is slowing down. We've also seen declines in, in, in industrial metals such as copper and also energies such as oil, which kind of feeds into the overall narrative that some economies are, could be heading for a recession or indeed we could see a cooling of the overall global economy. Now, why is this important? Well, looking ahead to next week, we have a number of central bankers speaking all on the same day at the same event. Uh, the event takes place on Thursday and we have the European Central Bank's Christine Lagarde, we have Andrew Bailey of the Bank of England and we also have Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve all speaking on the, on the same day. This is on Thursday next week. This is very much, these, these, these central bankers are going to be very much in focus, especially Christine Lagarde as the European Central Bank have already given a fairly clear indication that they're looking to hike interest rates next month. So the commentary from Mr. Lagarde will be of particular importance. But it's also worth noting uh, we will have updates from Andrew Bailey of the Bank of England and also Jerome Powell of the US Federal Reserve and that the, the, the US Central Bank, the Fed, have also made it clear they're looking at hiking rates next month as well. So what can we expect? If we do see an increase in volatility uh, um, because of the central bank updates, we could see uh, sharp moves in the, in the DE30. As I've mentioned already, only yesterday that the market printed a new three month low, which really highlights how bearish the recent, move, recent, recent trend. While the DE30 continues to hold below these three simple moving averages, it's likely the medium term bearish trend will continue. A move lower from here could see it retest 12,468. And a break below that could see a target 12,228. If you take a look at the RSI, we can see it's essentially in the middle of the range and it's been, and it's been fairly flat recently, indicating there's no strong price bias in our direction. If you do see a rally in the D30 from here, where could we target? Well, we could have to target this peak here. We could see an increase in volatility well, in, a, in, in both the pound, the euro and the US dollar. So taking a look at the price action here of GBP versus the USD, we can see a broad rally has been taking place in the more medium term uh, trend has been higher for GBP USD. That being, you know, that being said, there are still concerns and there are you know, growing fears of a possible recession in the UK. But at the same time, in the last few days, we have seen a broad pullback in the US dollar, which has helped this particular currency pair. While GBP USD continues to hold above these two simple moving averages, it's likely the medium term upward trend will continue. Looking at the RSI, we can see it's moving higher suggesting the price bias is to the upside. So if we do see a rally in GBP USD, where can we target? The market might encounter resistance at one spot 24.05, and a break above that could see a target this zone here at one spot 25.98. Now, even though the more medium term target, medium term trend for the currency pair is higher, it's worth noting the longer term trend for the currency pair is lower. Now, if we do see any declines in GBP USD from here, support might come into play at this zone here at one spot 20 or four, and a break below that could see it retest the recent lows of one spot 1932. So just to recap, on Thursday we've updates from Christine Lagarde of the ECB, Andrew Bailey of the Bank of England, and Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve. That's all for me from this video. Thank you very much.